Hi, this is Chris Hickman from Decision First Technologies. In this video, I'd like to provide you with a demo of the SAP Business Objects Crystal Reports for Enterprise application, available as part of the SAP Business Objects BI Suite. So in this demo, we're just going to show the Crystal Reports for Enterprise application, talk a little bit about the differences between Crystal Reports for Enterprise, or CRE, and Crystal Reports 2011, and then show how to build a Crystal Reports for Enterprise report. So I'm going to exit out of this uh, presentation and then go straight into my demo system. So in my demo system, I'm going to launch into my launch pad. It's going to take me into the system and I'm going to go straight up to my applications. So you'll notice that in my applications here, one of my applications is Crystal Reports for Enterprise. Now Crystal Reports for Enterprise is a new application at BI4 and it's a complete rewrite of the Crystal Reports application focusing on the streamlining of the report design process. So uh, with Crystal Reports for Enterprise, you can launch it from the browser here. It still launches in a, a, a desktop-based application, and you still go through your standard Crystal Reports design process, but it's a streamlined application with very streamlined menu bars so that you can really focus on your report development as opposed to focusing on the, the overwhelming interface from the Crystal Reports 2011. Now, Crystal Reports 2011 still exists. It's the next version of Crystal Reports over Crystal Reports 2008. So, if you're familiar with Crystal Reports 2008 and you're comfortable with 2008, then you can go up to Crystal Reports 2011. Otherwise, give uh, Crystal Reports for Enterprise or CRE a try and see what the differences are. You may find that you'll enjoy CRE more so than Crystal Reports 2011 because of the streamlined processes. So in the Reports dropdown, I'm going to pick Crystal Reports for Enterprise. And you'll notice that it's trying to launch a BCLP file. And I'm going to click Open. So the, the Crystal Reports for Enterprise application launches. And note that the Crystal Reports for Enterprise application on the desktop is not the same application as Crystal Reports 2011. They're two separate downloads and two separate installations. If, if you try to open up a, the, B, uh, the BCLP file from the Launchpad in CR 2011, it won't work. So what we've got here is choosing a data source. So we've got previous connections, and you can see here that I previously used STS Southeast Demo, which I'm going to use in this video. Uh, we have the SAP Business Objects Business Intelligence Platform, where we can select a universe, a BEX query, an analysis view, or a relational connection. And then we also have connections by vendors. So if you go in and look at this, you can see where you can connect to IBM, Microsoft, different Microsoft sources, uh, Natiza, Oracle, SAP, including HANA, uh, as long as you have the middleware installed on your machine, uh, Sybase, Teradata, and then generic sources. What I'm going to do is go back to the platform, and I'm going to browse the repository. Now, in the repository browser, I have different options, universe, BEX queries, analysis views, and relational connections. So what I'm going to select here is Universe and get a listing of all the UNX files that I have published on my system. I'm going to go in here and pick STS Southeast Demo and click Next. So now it's retrieving that universe. It's pulling out all the objects that were developed inside of that universe. And it's going to present us with a query panel that we'll use to build this universe, or build this report based on that universe. So you can see that it was connecting. Now here's our query panel. Very much like web intelligence, we have our universe objects here on the left side. We have our results objects here, query filters, and then data preview, returning the maximum of 200 rows. So I'm going to pull in year. I will pull in, let's see, we want to pull in customer country and I'll go into my measures and pull in we'll just pull in margin and net sales and I'll switch the ordering there I'm not going to put any filters in of course we can filter it out on any dimension or any measure that we'd like or put in some predefined filters if we'd like to use those in this case I'm just going to pull everything back I'm going to do a quick refresh of the data just to make sure things are coming back and that the data in a quick preview looks like the way that I need it and it looks pretty good to me so I'm gonna click finish and it's since I had the generate report checkbox checked in the query panel it's gonna generate a report for me 
And so now in the interface here, this looks pretty different from what we're accustomed to in Crystal Reports 2011. The, we have our series of tabs here on the left side. We still have our data explorer that where we can edit our data sources. We've got our objects here that we can pull out and you still see the green check mark meaning that it's used in the report. We still have our formulas, parameters, running totals, and predefined objects. So those are all there. In our report here, you can see that we have our report header, page header, all of our body lines, and then we still have our report, our page footer and our report footer. I can switch to the structure view and you get a very familiar look at what at the report uh, from the structure view. So we have report header, report footer, page header, page footer, and the body. And so we can right click, we can still insert sections in the report, uh, in the report header, report footer. Uh, the things that have changed is now we have the insert, we can insert text, line, boxes, just like we could in Crystal Reports. Charts, cross tabs, pictures, flash objects, and so forth. Format gives us our standard formatting. Data lets us work with our data a bit more. Grouping, sorting, the query filter panel, the interactive filter formulas and sub reports. So we have all of those available to us. It's taken the, the best of Crystal Reports and the most used features, simplified them, uh, and moved them into Crystal Reports for Enterprise. So uh, you can see here that this report is pretty much the way that I need it. I can go in and add some formatting if I'd like. So I could select net sales, I could select the margin, go into format, and I can change it to dollars. I can decrease the decimal places. I can change the headers to left align. And then of course for the, uh, for the countries, just leave it the way that it is. I can always go in and group by year. So I could always put in a group on year. I want to put the group. This looks very familiar. So now we have our group there, and then our country is the next level of detail. So we've got that. We can always go in and change that layout. So we can pull this over, and there we go. So things are starting to look a little bit better here. Of course, we can always pull that up to get rid of some of that white space. And our group footer do the same thing there. And so we can put in totals, sum of net sales at all group levels, insert it below the data. There we go, we've got it there. And we could do the same thing here below the data. And then we've got that there. We can, of course, change the height of this if we'd like, but I'm going to leave it the way that it is for uh, sake of time. And we'll go back, put in format, decrease my decimals, and now we've got our report. So there we are. We can, I'm going to save this report, and whenever I save it, you see we've got our all folders. We have my private folders here, and we have public folders. I'm going to go into public folders and just save it in my ch folder here. And we'll call this STS sales by year and country and click save all right report is being saved with the data uh, users will be able to view the data saved with the report regardless of security uh, profiles set so and that's fine I don't have any security on my data here so I'm gonna save it off and then just exit out and I've got a little operation in progress window here so we'll give that a moment to process and what I want to do is, once I've finished with this, I want to go back over into my Launchpad. So now it's saving this to my platform. I want to go back into Launchpad and show how you can run this report from your Launchpad just like you would any Crystal report. Okay, so I'm going to close CRE. I'm going to close the little launch window that came up. Go into Documents. Go into Folders. And to CH where I save my report and STS sales by year and country. You'll notice that it's recognized as a crystal report. So as far as running the report, there's no delineation between CR 2011 or CRE, just it's a crystal report. So there's no, uh, no surprises. We still have our group tree here, so we can jump down to the different views. Um, 
we can always uh, export the data, refresh the data, print the reports, jump to different pages, change the, the Zoom features. So, uh, and now I'm just gonna close this tab, close out of the report, and click log off. So now we're back at a logon screen, I'm gonna close the browser window. All right, so that's it for Crystal Reports for Enterprise. I'll give you some contact information here. Again, my name is Chris Hickman. My email address is chris.hickman at decisionfirst.com. You can find me on Twitter at chickman72.